Despite her cut-glass English accent, the queen of fine dining, Claire Smith, actually grew up on the wild County Antrim coast, and she's never forgotten her family roots. I do actually miss the, the tranquility of Northern Ireland. Um, it's almost quite um, an old-fashioned in its values. And everyone's very caring, and it's very much family orientated. Everyone sits around the table, eats together, um, and that's missing from, from most people's lives today. Passionate about food from a very young age, Claire got a job in a neighborhood restaurant as soon as she could. Um, from the age of 15, um, starting to cook in the local restaurant, I didn't really realize what I had learned there until a chef had come from England and, and said to me, you know, you know, you're 15 years old, how did you learn to cook like that? How do you have this knowledge? From then on, I never looked back. Tortellini, crouton, main course. She came to London and over the next 13 years trained with top chefs such as Michael Keynes, the Rue brothers and Heston Blumenthal. Her hard work paid off when Gordon Ramsay appointed her head chef at his three-star Michelin restaurant. Running a three-star Michelin kitchen means you know, everything to me. It's everything I've strived for my whole life. Um, I've always been a perfectionist. I've always wanted to reach the top. But to succeed at this extraordinary level in a tough male-dominated career, as well as maintain her three-star status, means 100% commitment to the job. When I go home at night, there'll always be books about um, memoirs of chefs. It will be history of cuisine. I spend my weekends dining out in fine dining restaurants. I'll go to Paris for the weekend um, just to eat. I don't like to lay around and uh, waste my time by just going to the pub and, uh, with my, and drinking pints. It's not my style. And as you'd expect from someone so focused, her cooking is of the highest quality and nothing less than perfection is good enough for her. I need to see every plate, everything that comes through the door, all of the produce. I don't feel comfortable with stepping away. This year, the judges are looking for a taste of home at the banquet for the armed forces. So is Claire confident she can meet their brief and win? I'm cooking pretty much to show, you know, the taste or the flavour of home, yes, but I'm refining it quite a lot. I've chosen things that I think that everyone will like, and it's about the cooking it to perfection because I want to spoil the soldiers a little bit. Um, I think they deserve it, and they should have a little bit of luxury in there as well.